An update to a 13 help team story we first aired earlier this month. A number of Muskegon Heights residents contacted us after getting massive tax bills in the mail. One man's bill was $27,000. 13 help teams Charlie Tinker has been following in this story and Charlie, you've actually got some good news tonight. Uh, yeah, they voted to erase all of those extra fees. In Fred's case, it's around double the full taxable value of the property the city fined, and he is grateful for that. I'm feeling pretty excited and relieved. Now I appreciate uh, uh, you guys and all the hard work you've been doing. I don't have any any ill will uh, or ill feelings uh, towards the city. I'm glad we were able to bring it to light, though, get a handle on on how it happened and get that cleared up. Yeah, thanking us uh, for keeping the pressure on this, getting it addressed as the end of the month deadline got closer and closer. It turns out the extra fines, the fees were a combination of backwater bills and a special assessment on vacant buildings, which hasn't actually been used in years. City Council ultimately wound up voting to reverse the fees assessed for 2021, giving the county treasurer the ability to walk all of it back and manually issue refunds if you did already pay. Now, as for how this happened, well, we still don't know that. Speaking with the county treasurer's office, I can tell you how the city validated those payments, how uh, the accounting there actually shakes out in reality. That is still a bit of an open question. We don't have answers to that yet, but the largest takeaway, the fees will be going away. That's, of course, number one. And as Fred goes, it is certainly relief enough for now. It's a big relief. If you have an issue you can't seem to work through, get the 13 Help team involved by dialing the number up there on your TV or check out the Help tab on our website and submit your questions there. Charlie Tinker, 13 on your side.